I want to get back to Richard Camby for a minute, so because how does the success of defeating the Confederates and forcing Sibley out impact his career? Because I mean, the part that I'm always thinking is that cheesy western where he eventually dies at the mm -hmm. end of Captain Jack and the motto. And, you know, how does right. what he does here kind of impact his career for moving forward? Sure. Well, after he um, defeats the Confederates and sends them back to Texas, um, he is promoted and then sent to the East. Um, he spent some time in D.C. and then he was sent to command troops in New Orleans. Um, he was supposed to lead a, an invasion of Alabama to take Mobile and that kind of didn't work out so well. But what Canby was really best at, he was not the best field commander. Mm -hmm. What he was best at was recruiting troops and sort of organizing troops in the field. And so he was given a lot of those kinds of commands um, near the end of the war and then also after the war. Um, he and Louisa moved to um, all, a lot of different places within the South um, where Canby was in command of uh, troops in that first phase of Reconstruction. And then they went west um, mm -hmm. to the Pacific Northwest where he was trying to negotiate with the Modocs and, and was killed um, in that context. So, so he was an interesting commander in this sense in that his, uh, the New Mexico kind of element of his career came pretty early on. Um, but it really catapulted him into leadership in other theaters.